This is an overview of how easily and quickly a submersible pump station is replaced with an Everlast above ground pumping station from Smith & Loveless. This installation was performed in less than eight hours in Southeast Kansas. The process begins by pumping down the wet well. The existing submersible pump station components connected to the wet well are permanently removed. Smith & Loveless recommends removing these items as they could become an obstruction. This includes the wet well cover, submersible pumps, sensors, floats, guide rails, pump bases, and control systems. Any unneeded discharge connection lines and associated valves will also be removed. Everlast pump stations feature a single discharge, so if two or more discharge lines exist, the extra lines are removed as well. Grade rings are installed as required to set the new station to the proper elevation. New suction piping is placed in the wet well and cut to proper length. This piping will be connected to the bottom of the new pump station when it has been set on top of the wet well. The single station discharge is connected with a mechanical coupling. The Everlast is now lowered onto the top surface of the wet well, ensuring a flat and level connection. Mastic or grout is used on top of the well structure to seal the bottom of the new Everlast base plate. The factory-built Everlast station delivers directly to the job site, pre-assembled and ready for installation. A suction piping support is added. The factory provided level controls are set. Any necessary conduit is installed so that the incoming power can be landed on the factory wired and tested control panel. Following a final check of the station, suction and discharge connections, and all electrical components, this station is now ready for station commissioning and startup. This Everlast pump station is now ready for 40 or more years of low maintenance operation. Get more info on all things Everlast at smithandloveless.com.